It is part two of Noob Plays Super Meat Boy. You see the description in the link below to part one. If you haven't seen it, please click on that first and come back to this video. Once again, it's your host, Arachnid Soul. Intellectual, voracious, and to be quite honest with you, somewhat worried. Somewhat scared. I didn't do so well last time, so I'm going to try harder. We're going to start at stage five. This is kind of where we left off. We were actually in the black hole last time. Let's see if I can get off to a good start out of the gate. Gordon Ramsay rule. First plate's got to be good or the whole night is screwed up. And I cannot even bring myself to get up that wall. Megas! It's that same problem you had playing Mega Man years ago. Come on, Arachnid. You got this. By the way, if I'm having any issues on a side note, it's probably because I'm out of that awesome, amazing, spectacular, official drink of my YouTube channel. It's the Almond Milk Chai Latte. And for the people out there saying, you know what? Isn't it just a chai tea latte? Isn't it just called chai tea latte? Because doesn't latte mean milk? So when you say almond milk chai latte, you're kind of saying almond milk chai milk. To those people, I say, you know what? Just relax, shut up, enjoy the footage, and watch what I'm going to do here. Jumping over the blades. As you can kind of tell, I'm getting a little bit more used to the controls. Things are going a little bit better than they did last time. Let's lay out here for a second. Let's, let's just watch this skill. No commentary. Sticks the landing. Beautiful. It's in the bag. Once again, guys, follow me on Twitter at ArachnidSoul if you like this content. If you liked part one, if you liked the Let's Plays, if you liked Thursday night, come on. We got it this time. We got it. We got it. If you like Thursday night, th let me get this plug in, dude. If you like Thursday night, th okay, we'll try it again. If you like my channel and you like Thursday night throwdown or anything else, Please hit that subscribe button. Please hit that like button. Please leave a comment. I want to know what you guys think of my channel. I want to know what you guys think of this video. I want to know what you guys think about me and my personality. I want to know what you guys think of the people I hang out with on YouTube. Fight Night's Finest, Sakuraba1982, Pemby66. Let me know what you guys think. I actually do respond to people in my comment section. Now, if you guys haven't figured it out here, basically, you've got to kind of touch these little bricks. They dissolve, and then you've kind of got to figure your way through them. Another thing I'd like to talk about real briefly here, while I have your ears, I want to know what kind of content you guys would like to see on my channel that I don't already have on my channel. I, 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 I can't do anything but thank the people who have supported me. This is going to be a pain in the ass. How many not? Yes, it will be. Anyway, for the people who think this game is easy because somehow you equate, I don't know, maybe side-scrolling games, maybe platforming games, or maybe just games that don't have those super next-gen graphics to being easy, this game is not easy. And I'm... Oh, look at that. I actually pulled it off. I mean, honestly, in the past year, when I think about difficult games... Dark Souls 2, a game that I've only seen people play. This is going to be a pain in the ass as well. A game I've only seen people play, a game that Sakuraba1982 loves and has told me is an extremely hard game. That game does have amazing graphics. You know, let's do a little drinking game here. Every time I die on this level, I want you guys to take a shot. Now, I'm not going to encourage drinking, but I mean take a shot of that almond milk chai latte. And let's see what we do here. There we go. And, okay, never mind. Let's get back to what I was talking about. Dark Souls 2. Difficult game, great graphics. This game, extremely hard. Not the best graphics, even though I do like the art style. People don't appreciate good art in video games anymore. Another game that I play doesn't have the best graphics, but kind of a cool art style is Spelunky, and that game is roguelike, and it is no joke. That game will humble you. That game will break your back. 
And if you guys are Shiki Baby fans, you know what the other part of that is. Into the Blade is your boy, Arachnid Soul. God. Well, I'm glad I told you guys to take those shots of that almond milk chai latte on this and not Jaeger because you guys would be bombed out of your mind by now. But you see, that's the difference between me and a lot of people you'll see. I'm hungry. I'm tenacious. I stick with it. I'm going to do this a thousand times. Ugh. I'm going to keep doing this, and I'm going to make sure I get this. For the people watching me, like, why do you keep doing the same thing? It's because it's extremely hard to kind of free fall and stare and land on this thing at the same time. That's the first obstacle. This is almost like doing Needlepoint, Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Come on. Uh, you got it. Wow. How the hell did I land back down there? Anyway, let me point out now, like I did in the first one, did much earlier. This game is available on the PC. Um, well, I'm playing it on the PC. You can also get this game on the Xbox 360. I'm guessing at some point, maybe it will come to the PlayStation 3 console. Hopefully. So everyone can play. Oh, uh, okay. thought the blade was going to stop there and I have a little gap. And I also have to tell you guys, I'm playing this with the controller that you saw on the graphic in part one. This level's actually not too bad. And you see the controller there again. It's pretty much a hybrid between the Xbox 360 controller and the PlayStation 3 controller, and you can actually plug this controller into your PlayStation 3, and I can tell you I kind of like it more than the PlayStation controller. It's got that grip of an Xbox controller, yet it's got that layout of a PlayStation controller with two analog sticks next to each other. I actually prefer that to the layout of the 360 controller. And look how much more ass I'm kicking in part two of this series than I did in part one. I mean, yes, I'm still a noob, but I'm not really playing as noobish, as it were, as I did in the first one. Well, let's see what happens here. No, your boy's got some skill now. Your boy's got some talent. I mean, a lot of people think that all I do is go on Fight Night Champion and beat the hell out of Fight Night's Finest. A lot of people will tell you that all I do is, is, you know, do tutorials in private and I show Sakuraba 1982 how to play Dark Souls 2 the right way. That's what a lot of people think. A lot of people think I just spend all my time beating up Sakuraba on those MMA video games. And the truth of the matter is no. I actually don't spend all of my time embarrassing uh, Pemby 66 on Killzone Shadowfall. I actually do come over here and I actually do play these games. A lot of people say Red Eye Jedi. Isn't that the guy that you always own on those NHL games? And I have to tell you, I'm so much more than that. By the way, lest anyone think any of that's true, I'm sure all of those people would own me on any one of those games. Anyway, back to Super Meat Boy. This game available right now on the PC, like I said. I bought this game on Steam. I think it was on sale. I I would pay all $15 for this game. See, a lot of people would have gone the other way and tried to go up the other wall. I accidentally went up the wall on the left, and apparently that was the way to go. Like I was saying, though, I would gladly pay $15 for this game. I think I got it for maybe $7 or $8. Well worth the money. It's kind of cool just playing an old-school platformer like this. Silence was the right response there. I jumped right onto that blade. I got a little bit anxious on what's probably the easiest level in a while here. If I can stick this landing onto the next little beam. There we go. And that's the responsiveness of that controller that I've had in my hand since the Super Nintendo pretty much. That same layout that I'm comfortable with. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. A lot of this game is kind of trial and error. These levels are kind of broken down into little pieces, and you find yourself trying to figure out little ways to master the different pieces of this level. By the way, and I should have given you guys a heads up at the beginning of this, uh, you guys probably realize this now. I'm doing a little bit better than I did in part one. Can't believe I died there. Probably died two or three more times going over that same blade just to kind of 
get the hang of what kind of jump I need there in the trajectory. Anyway, but like I was saying, this video is a little bit longer than the other video, so I hope you guys are ready, not only with that drink, but, you know, hey, if you guys felt like rolling one up to enjoy this video, go for it. That's what my videos are for, rolling up burritos. That's, that's clearly what I was talking about. Let's see if I can make it over this blade again. I haven't had the most success on this level so far. For some reason, I apologize for the, uh, there we go. I apologize for any little video glitches or whatever. It seems like the capture footage is messing up a little bit. That is actually the capture stuff I'm using. It is not the game. The game runs extremely smooth. There we go. By the way, if you guys are wondering why there haven't been like more uh, secret staff videos, for example, they're coming. I'm working on them. The channel's going to go through some awesome changes in the future. And you will see more secret stash stuff. I cannot believe I just died there. I think that's been a pretty good part, too, to new play Super Meat Boy. I'm going to cut it off right here. Check my boys out. I mentioned them. They're in the description. Sakuraba 1982. Fight Night's Finest. Red Eye Jedi. Pemb66. Links in the description. Join me on Twitter at ArachnidSoul. And if you like this content or any other content, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Feel free to like the content. Feel free to share the content. And if you did watch part two, and this was the first part you watched, go watch part one. And I will catch you guys later.